Hi there, Wilfred here. I haven't done these kind of videos in a while. Uh, this is uh, a video about uh, another video I uploaded last month, which is The Nights by Avicii. It's a remake I did. And this video will be dedicated into a better look at this project. Okay, so this video will be split into six parts. First, the overall information. Second, the intro with the guitar. Third, the breakdown. Then the build-up. Then the first drop. And then the second drop. Okay, so let's get started with the overall information. Um, I have used some samples, which is a crash and a reverse crash. And an uplifter. And an uplifter that lasts for longer. Then onto the intro. So the very first beginning here is just a little bit of a sweep into the song. Which contains uh, a few claps. Uh, and some percussion with a reverb kick and some toms like that and this reverse crash right here then we go into the guitar part this is the part that raised the most questions in here um, first we have a crash with a white noise in the background <laughs> And then this guitar part right here, which is divided into three parts. The melody. The bass. And the empty notes. I actually recorded and processed all these parts by myself. And I'll give you a tutorial of all the notes right now. So what you gotta do to get that uh, chord progression is A minor, which is your uh, pointy finger on the first fret of the second to last string. And then your two other fingers next to the pointy finger, you put on the second fret of the, of the D string and on the string in between. So like that. And then you strum it like this. Then you go into G, which is your uh, middle finger on the third fret of the uh, upper string. Then your pointy finger on the second fret of the string below that. And then your pinky all the way on the bottom on the third fret on the last string. So like that. And then back into A minor. Then for the second part of the guitar, you want to do an F, which is your uh, which is your pointy finger on the on the both strings, the both below strings on the first fret. Then your middle finger on the string above that on the second fret, and your ring finger on the third fret of the string above that. So, and then you don't play the the uh, above two strings, so only the four strings below that. Then into C, which is your uh, your pointy finger on the second fret of the second to last string. Then two strings above that, you want your uh, middle finger on the second fret, and then you want your ring finger on the uh, string above that on the third fret. And then I always leave my pinky in here, but I uh, what you can do is as I did so F. So in middle in the middle of the chord, just put your pinky on the last string, the third fret. It gives it a cool effect. So now we have. Then in G. And then back in an A minor. After that C and the optional pinky in back there, you go into G, as we had uh, just then. And then back in A minor. And then if you do the guitar for the entire parts, uh, the raise and the drop, you want to do F, C, G, A minor, and then back into G, and then F again, like that, and it loops forever. Then after that, we have this little bit of an intro sound right here, which is just a, a little sound I made, like that, in Harmer, I think. Yep. And it comes in with the kick right here. 
this kick, which is a very heavy kick I made. It's actually from a sample pack I downloaded with my new microphone's preamp, the Scarlett 2 i2, and it's called the IB Kick 01, and it will be uh, in the project file for this project, which will be in the description. So it comes in with the kick and the hat and the piano. Which is just a Harmer preset, Piano 2, I think, yeah, Piano 2. And modified a little bit with some equalizing and such and such. Then onto the breakdown. We have this uh, guitar part here. Which is actually, I didn't record that part. This is made with Slayer because I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't get those notes exactly as I, as I wanted. So uh, I made a Slayer. Uh, I took a Slayer preset, I don't remember which one it was, and I modified it so it would be like this. You can copy this or just download the project as I said in the beginning. Then we have this pad sounding chords, which is the Moonlight EP preset in Harmer with some modification in the mixer. And then we have this piano right here. And we also have this uh, this reverb kick right here, just as in the beginning, to give it a sort of burst into the breakdown. And this sound right here, which is just a little sound I made. Then underneath we have the single riser, as it's called, and the uplift, just as the low cut filter you heard here. So, onto the rise. We go into the rise by just a single note, uh, which is automated down. Oh, which is automated down here. Uh, it's a cutoff filters for all of the leads I used for this uh, lead. And the lead looks like this. has four layers. Then we have the piano, which is exactly the same piano as we used in the drop in front here. Only with a little automation in the low cut down here. And I'll tell you about that just in a minute. Then we have the bass. almost just disappears with the low cuts. Then we have the build up white noise, the claps and the hats. Like that. Then we have a single riser, which is a Harmer preset I made and the uplifter in combination with each other. And in combination with the low cut filter, it sounds really cool. Listen to this. And then what I've been referring to as the low cut filter, which is uh, this thing right here. It has a lot of tracks rooted to it, as it's uh, as it's called. So, so when you mute the low cuts, you actually hear that there is nothing in the in the rays that is not rooted to the low cut. And the low cut is just a parametric EQ, uh, which has a lot of tracks rooted to it. And as you can see, this one over here gets automated to the side so it creates a rising effect so the low end gets cut and then in the drop the low the low end comes back again uh, abruptly and the drop will sound a lot harder so then onto the drop which is not that different from the from the build up it just has some extra chords a different lead which is made out of Harmer presets. Just before the drop, we have this tom right here. And this part of the melody so to lead it into the melody. So we have the... Then the... 
draw piano, which is exactly the same as the uh, the rays. And the draw piano is built up by some harmer presets that I have, and this, this uh, direct wave, which is, and it comes with FL Studio, so you don't have to worry about installing some VSTs to get that piano sound. Then the kick again, and those hats, and some white noise, uh, which has some automation on it. Like that. Then we take a look at the second guitar part, um, which has the, the exact same guitars uh, and white noise going into it. But then you see this part here, it has the drop lead in the, in the part, which sounds like this. So it just adds a little bit of a melody to the guitar part, so it isn't exactly as this part, but just a little bit different. Um, and I listened closely to the track, the original track, and I heard that this guitar part, which you hear over here, is not in this part, so I left it out here as well. Then it goes back in the raise. And it has a quick sample, which is actually just probably exactly the same as this. to make it a sample because the exact same sounds I have here are used in this part right here and uh, by having this here I it would mess with the uh, with the automation of the um, of the frequency of the cutoff so I had to uh, actually take some some part of this export it and then put it in here but yeah that's that the exact same purpose is just there to give a little bit of a melody so it isn't exactly the same as the rays we had beforehand and then the second drop we have two add-ons uh the beginning is exactly the same but then we have a drop lead number two which has some echoing of the uh of the lead which is actually in the track if you listen very closely it's there and then just the the same low cut filter we had in the rays, we have here to give it uh, a little bit of an in-between effect. It's this, uh, this automation clip down here. Second part of the drop, the violin comes in. Which is also a direct wave, so you shouldn't have a problem with loading that either. And then you just... the end of the track so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, be sure to give it a like if you did and uh, subscribe if you really loved it this entire project with all the presets and samples and everything will be in the description make sure to comment down below what you want to see next on my channel i'd really love to see what the public thinks about my videos but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye